time, the family will be issuing statements. Right now, as their spokesperson, I'm asking you to please give them the respect and the dignity of waiting and being with their family and friends right now until we have some kind of closure brought on by the uh, Portland Police Bureau. This is a difficult time, but after Yashani is found, the fight is not over. Justice has to prevail, and we want everyone to know that Yashani's situation should be an example of why crime is not justice. And in the end, we hope and pray that everyone will come together as a community and unite and stop the fighting and stop the violence because this family is prime example of what a family has to go through in a situation like this. But until that time is complete, we believe Yashani will be brought home by the Portland police and the investigators this weekend. And we thank everybody. Thank you so very much for keeping her name and case visible. It's so imperative that missing children have a voice too. And all of you have been that voice. So thank you very much. So if uh, this is confirmed as uh, Yashani's body and that um, uh, Robert King will uh, close this um, briefing with an additional announcement, but if this is indeed uh, Yashani's body here on Powell Butte, it brings a small but very important and meaningful measure of closure to Yashani's family. Had the opportunity during the course of, of this tragedy to um, meet with them, and you can only imagine the profound loss um, that that they have experienced, and uh, and the need and the desire for some sort of closure. So my heart goes out to Yashani's family. I want to thank Michelle Bart for. Uh, working with us, not not just in dealing with the press, but uh, working with us on helping to uh, do everything we can for the for the search of Yashani. I also want to take this opportunity to um, thank the police bureau uh, for their work, including the detective division under the leadership of Lieutenant Brian Parman, the homicide detail sergeant Rich Austria, and the homicide detectives Mark Slater and uh, Eric Kamimer. Um, I can tell you behind the scenes that this team led by uh, the chiefs and Chief Reese um, have not felt, we do not feel that this investigation is over until Yashani's body is found. Um, and if this is Yashani's body, uh, we will also be circumspect as will other uh, agencies involved with this investigation because we want to make sure that everyone associated uh, with this murder, this tragedy, is brought to justice. Uh, again, thank you all very much for coming. In closing, uh, Michael Schronk, the district attorney, uh, will be putting out a press release that will provide additional information about the investigative process, so we ask that you look for that because we believe that will be released. If it's not been already, it will be shortly. That concludes this press, or this press conference, and I thank you all very much for coming.